At the Port of Montreal, officers found that approximately 75% of vehicles recovered were stolen in Ontario. 598 vehicles were recovered from containers at the Port of Montreal as part of an investigation led by Ontario Provincial Police and the Canada Border Services Agency in collaboration with Montreal Police and Quebec Provincial Police. The primary vehicles being targeted were newer vehicles, including high-end pickup trucks and SUVs. These vehicles were connected to various types of violent vehicle crimes, including carjackings and home invasions. The operation carried out from December 2023 until March 29th is called Project Vector. In a press conference in Montreal Wednesday, the police forces said 390 shipping containers were inspected, resulting in the recovery of 483 vehicles that were reported stolen in Ontario and 115 from Quebec. Sûreté du Québec and uh, Project Vector was supporting uh, Montreal Police, also CBSC, at the Port of Montreal, so seizing uh, those cars with our partners. After that, we were getting all the intel of those seizures, and that intel was shared with our partners to uh, do new investigation and continue to put pressure on auto theft. About 75 to 80 percent of the Quebec vehicles come from the greater Montreal region. The estimated value of the vehicle stolen from Ontario is $34.5 million and for Quebec it's about $8.5 million. To be clear, we act on 100 percent of the referrals made by the police and in addition to that, we also search based on our own intel and experience. I think probably it's just a question of opportunity because the part is in Montreal, it's the biggest part to uh, doing expedition. So I think it's just opportunity and not vulnerability. It's not related to Montreal specifically, it's just a, an occasion to deport the vehicle. Authorities say that the recovered vehicles were destined to be exported overseas to markets in Asia, Europe, South America and the Middle East. No arrests have been made in relation to the recovered vehicles as of yet, as investigations are still ongoing. Just to reiterate, we're not done. You know, these are active investigations with all the police services you see here today, and we anticipate uh, you know, arrests and charges in the near future. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.